Welcome back to Storage Chasers, and this is part number three of our uh, storage pod update videos. <laughs> and uh, if you missed the first two parts, then uh, what we're doing is we're going through all of the totes a second time because uh, we really didn't do it uh, all the way through like we feel would be fair to the viewers or to ourselves because we still don't know everything that's in all the totes. We're going to start off with as many totes as we can. Uh, put some on the table already. We still have a couple more over here. So if it takes longer than uh, normal video length, we'll just cut this into two parts. So there'll be uh, four four parts to the update video. But for now, we want to get in here and uh, start checking out some more goodies. Seeing what we got up close and personal for stuff that you may or may not have seen before. So. Had a $45 price tag on that thing. Kind of weird. A lot of the uh, packing papers in here. All right. Uh, this one here has a $35 $35 price sticker on there. Yeah. Filigree bottle holder or something. Yeah, no idea. This thing's also... A filigree thing, tissue box holder, $45. I don't know what filigree is, but it doesn't look like gold, but I could be wrong. It could be worth $45 to somebody. There's crazy people in the world. <clears throat> All right. This one, $175 for vintage pottery vase here. Um, says something up there. Looks like that on the bottom. If this is your first video that you've seen of mine, then uh, you may be lost. But we bought a pod from this uh, pod company, and uh, the lady who we who owned the pod or had stored the stuff in the pod, we believe was uh, had an antique mall store kind of thing. That's why the price stickers are on a lot of the items here, and they're really high priced. Um, and uh, we bought the pod, and we get stuck with everything that's in there. So we have to sort and resort and sort again, and then sort again, and go through everything. All right, here's another one with the price sticker on there of $25. Let me turn around so you can see it. All right, it's got, it uh, says that on the bottom. Got a sticker. And it's got like a person on there. It feels like a like china to me not very thick all right here's another core bowl or something here if i don't break it 145 dollars english pot lid okay there's an english pot lid 145 dollars wow that's a uh, crazy right it's like 300 dollars worth of stuff right there if she could have sold it for that. Which I don't know if she could have sold it for that. I just know what we can try to get for it. Here's another vase or vase. $175. Alright, again with the weird pottery. I don't see any writing on the bottom. Some people say that's what you're supposed to look for. It's a really... It's a vase. A vase. I'm sick oh, That was like $600 on the table. I left $600 on the table. All right, here's a lid for something. Oops. Bad camera work. Um, and here's a lid for something that I don't see out here. Actually, there's no price on it. Maybe it goes for this thing. Maybe it's the lid for this one. Uh, no. Got the same type of bottom on it, and this one, well, this one's only $145. So, yeah. So, I've got three, three vases. So, 175, 175, 145. Voila. Shh. Crazy. Craziness. All right. So, that is going to do it for this one. Nothing else in there. Tote down. 
We'll get that stuff repackaged up in there. And move on to number this one. All right, this looks, oh, got a handle. This looks like that filigree named stuff again. I don't see a price sticker on this one. So maybe it's not filigree. I don't know how it would go or what it does, but I'm guessing like that. So I got one of those. Get something here. Something cool. Uh, it's a candle holder. It's a wooden candle holder. Oh, maybe upside down. It says that on the bottom. Zoom in for you guys because I can't read it. But it's one of those. Looks really ornate. Kind of cool. Kind of not. What else we got in here that can get out kind of easily here, right? Yeah, we got we got some mold. Feel sure, something easy. All right. All right, what do we got here? We got some kind of platter. Hey, the dog decided to come out. Must be a nice day. Okay, that is kind of cute. That's kind of cool there. Glass, and it looks like it's got silver or something on the inside of it. That is really cool. Huh. Now, I'll, I'll put that piece right there if I don't damage it. Don't remember seeing that the first time I went through the video either. All right, this. Got to come out of the bag. Come out of the paper. Oops, let me show you guys. So you don't see stuff there. It's an older lamp. Oh yeah, that's an older lamp. It's got roses on it. Interesting. A little interesting. Maybe not a whole bunch of interesting, but a little bit. All right. All right, this looks like another one of them wooden ones. Yeah, that's what it should be. So I got a max set of these. Well, yeah. So we got two of those. So now I got to sell them as a set. Or maybe the other one has a price sticker on it too. Alright, let's get into this one. It's wrapped and wrapped. Feels like another lamp. For me. And it is. So now I've got I've got two of those. Alright, and we've got oops, something in a ziploc bag here. We want to see what's in there. Probably really don't want to, but we got to, we got to figure it out. Let's see, all right, we got a leaf plate. And it says Portugal, maybe? Sola Portugal, some kind of leaf plate. And uh, feels like I've got two or three. One, two. And three and four. So we got four of those. I'm not gonna dig them all out. It's gonna be kind of boring for you guys. But yeah, we got like four of those. That's a cool platter. I wonder if that's actually silver in there. We'll have to find out. All right, I'm gonna go through the next one. Another one. Another one. We're just having fun. All right, here we go. We got a big old. Oh, it's a couple here. All right, let me lay them both out then. So this one says New New Zealand. Here you go, New Zealand, made in Ireland, pure linen. Uh, I'm not seeing any dates on anything here, which is normally what you need to know. And then this one here says New Zealand also. So I've got two of them, two different colors of these things. Not sure what they are go for. This one has like a little stain right here. Ah, it's unfortunate. We'll see about cleaning it up. Stain. All right, what do we got? We got, uh, looks like a homemade piece here. No price sticker on it. Oh yeah, there's a price sticker or a tag or something on the inside there. 
but uh, yeah, just looks like a, a kid's kind of a top thingy. Maybe like a bib. Could be cool, right? Here's a couple of uh, ladies' handkerchiefs. Okay. All right, here's some more of those. These ones are in white. So I got white and off-white now. And uh, I got some handkerchiefs from whatever that is. Looks like we got some gloves. Sorry, the wind's starting to blow out here and it's gonna start blowing on my trash across my yard here. So I'm gonna be careful when I get the stuff out of there. Okay, we got several pairs of different types of gloves. They all feel like cotton gloves. There's some a little bit longer ones, some lighter ones, off-whites, browns, tans, whites. And we've got this uh, kind of a blinky thing here, or no, it's kind of round. Maybe it's a, it's a round table to tabletop. <laughs> it's a round tablecloth. <laughs> All right, there's another one of those bibby things. There you go, peeking, peeking handicrafts. Right there. You got some more gloves in this bag. Uh, the black ones appear to be leather. And these are leather ones here. So maybe they got a good name on them. That'll be nice. Got a purple set. And then we got another bib thing or handkerchief here that says something in a different color. It's a handkerchief with little skulls. 10, 19, 13, AG2, I don't know. So I have to look that up. Here's another glove. And then these are like doilies, tabletop doilies. Homemade. That looks like the table runner one there. Okay, so that's uh, interesting. Interesting. We got lots of interesting stuff in here. All right, there's a flag thingy of some sort. Hmm. All right, so thatched cotton roof something he eats country mountain something Ireland. So we've got one of those. No idea. Looks like uh, another banner thingy or something for the kitchen. It's got a rooster on it. Portugal. So it says Portugal on it here. So yeah, and uh, unique items, unique items for sure. Oh, this feels uh, silky here. Fort Gordon, Georgia, U.S. Army. It's got the little mother thing on there. Wonder if this will have a date on it somewhere. We will look at it more closely and uh, determine whether it is or not. All right, this is a tablecloth. I don't know if you can see the pattern. There's some flowers, like, uh, printed on the material. Yeah, it's uh, just a, a long tablecloth. Now the glove is a box that has, it has these in there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of whatever they are. So, yeah. Some tablecloth napkin things. Another runner for a... I think they're placemats of some sort. It says Portugal on that one. And uh, then we got some other ones here. Some hand-stitched hand uh, napkins or something for... Whatever they're doing, this one's stained, unfortunately. It's stained. Nice little hankies. Looks like a couple of tablecloth looking things. This one has a tag on it. So, Field Crest Classic. They all say that on there. So, yeah, they almost look like placemats. So, yeah, that's interesting. Some people still do that kind of stuff. And uh, another another one of them tablecloths. Tablecloths. And 
more tablecloths and some doilies and stuff. Yeah, so that's not too bad. I mean, that's interesting stuff. These are harder sells because you have to find the right person that needs something that is a unique item like this. So let me put some of these stuff away since I've got the wind trying to take my stuff away. <laughs> and until the wife comes out and she can start to do another sort on these things. I will probably edit putting all this stuff back in here away out of the video. Because that's not very entertaining, I'm sure. So, we've got that. All right. Next tote. <laughs> Stay. There's more stuff that's wrapped up. All right. We do like our wrapped up stuff. Why? Just because. All right. We got one of these. Porcelain. It's got a birdie on it. It's a little... Little baskety thing. Huh. Doesn't have a price tag on it like some of the other stuff, so. Oop. We got one of those. We always needed one of those. Alright, what else we got in here? Oop. We got a lazy Susan. Kind of looks like particle boardy stuff, but it kind of rotates. So yeah, we got one of them. And, uh, oh, here's a bell. Oh, this, all right, it said, uh, I want to say it says 60, 60 bucks on it. But that goes with that. So now we've got like a rocket ship. I'm going to not put that on the Lazy Susan because something tells me if I spin that, that'll be the first thing to fall. And, uh, a lot of these mattress pad thingies covering coolness stuff here. All right, we've got a big old crystal crystal thingy here. This one has some writing on the bottom. Uh, we'll we'll look at it closer. Wonder if this one has a lid in here. It looks like something that should have a lid or a top topper lid. Either way. All right, nothing in there, nothing in there, nothing in there. Oop, there's something here. And yes, there it is. Oh, and it's only $125 for that cool piece of, of glassware. It's kind of cute. I like these kind of things for uh, storing candy and stuff in. Let's see what's next. We've got uh, $18 for a mini pitcher. For them uh, people who don't drink a lot, but just enough. All right. In here we've got another pitcher. This one's $18 as well. Another mini pitcher. And, oop, that feels bigger and heavier. Feels metal. Feels metal-ish. And, we've got one of these. Whoa, that was bright nice. Don't want to do that. It's got uh, grapes on it and grapes on it. And it's got a signage here. Something chrome tray. And uh, grape leaves, chrome tray, $75. $75 for that? Wow. So, yeah, it's not stuff I would normally pay that much for. All right, here is, ooh, this looks like the lid from my other thing. $165. So, if you were wondering, that's what it looks like complete. $165, and that could be yours. Ooh, if you're crazy enough to spend that kind of money on stuff, then I've got a whole table full of it. <clears throat> this stuff will be mm, so hard to sell <laughs> for reselling. All right, this one has a $25 tag on it. This one's kind of cool, see? It's got that cool, it's got that cool factor. Except for the price, $25, really? But it's probably got some special named glass company that made it, and yeah. I'm just unpacking stuff. 
as I go. Oop, this is heavy. That's heavy, heavy. All right, let's not drop it on something else in there. All right, it's a big glass thing. One-handed, yeah. You know, I have that chest mount thing and I just don't use it. Probably should. Trash, making a trash pile. <laughs> All right, that's what this one here is. Let's not break it. $125 back, Baccarat, Baccarat Golf Trophy. So it's a Golf Trophy Pro-Am winner, Hertz Bay Classic. Okay. That's, see, that's a more unique item. But Baccarat, is that the type of glass, maybe? It's got a little symbol on the glass here, like an etching thing. Baccarat, Baccarat. Why does it sound like I've heard of that before? You stay there. All right, doesn't Baccarat sound like a, a high-end glass or something? Or maybe it's just me. I want it to be high-end so I can sell it for a lot of money. Either way, we're good. All right, this one here is just a, it's a crock. It does have some writing kind of on it. No sticker by itself, which means it probably has a lid in here. But it does, it does have some markings here on it that I can barely read when the light hits it just right. So maybe that means something or the type of glass means something. But I believe there's a lid in here for it. And this looks like a looks like a lid for it. Uh, maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, that's the lid for it. Sure enough. Uh, no sticker on that either. But that is uh, one ugly bowl. <laughs> I'm sure I have I have more, but yeah, that's one ugly bowl. Nothing there. Oh, there's something flat in this one something in here it's a trivet uh, metectile Mel methish I don't know some kind of tile there you go metlatch metlatch tile and uh, $125 1920s the governor's palace is what it says on there I I don't know I really don't know. All right, get back in here. This feels lighter. Okay, you like stuff that's lighter, so I don't break it as easy. But it's not filigree. It's uh, twenty-two dollars for pedestal, <clears throat> pedestal SP silver. I guess that's silver plated silver. So yeah, if you were looking for one of those. You got you covered. All right, what else is in here? That mail feels kind of light. Got a price sticker on this one. This one says uh, $15. It's aluminum. <clears throat> it's one of them uh, little appetizer hors d'oeuvre kind of trade things, right? Right, it's kind of cute. That's definitely aluminum. Aluminum in a meal. Illuminati. All right, and looks like two more things. Unless I break them. Oh, no, nope, there's two in there. So, this goes with this thing here. So I guess it goes around that. And we've got flip-flopping colors. So, yeah, they're gonna go, it's gonna go around, around that other bowl. So that's what these are, and I've got, I got four. They all appear to be not broken so far. So I got two white ones and uh, two red ones, my guess. Yes, and price stickers. So, Caliph Pottery, $50, Lazy Susan. So, maybe it all goes on that thing? Yeah, maybe it goes on here. Maybe that's that's what goes on the Lazy Susan thing, because it says that. And that'll do it for this box here. And uh, I'm trying to see what time it is. I think it's uh, good enough for this video here. 
uh, keep it short and sweet and I'll try and jump into the next one just a little bit faster but I've got to clean up this mess because it's starting to blow all over our yard so please like share subscribe comment all that good stuff and as always we will talk to you later